If for nothing else, this much is for sure. Disney will stop at nothing to try to strike gold like they did with Pirates of the Caribbean again with another franchise. We call that fact. <laughs> John Carter, or John Carter of Mars for you purists. But it's John Carter this time. So John Carter is set in the 1800s. John Carter is a guy, he's from Virginia. He fought in the Confederate army. He's had enough of war. He's like, no, I'm done with this. I don't want war, I don't want to fight. Then he grabs a medallion and says a couple words and now he's transported to Mars. A planet that as we know it is completely desolate and has no oxygen. But for the sake of this movie, well, that's just not true. So on the planet Mars, you have your humanoid aliens that have four arms like Goro from Mortal Kombat. And you have the human beings who have technology and they're airships from one of the later Final Fantasy games. The bad guy's being led by Jimmy McNulty from The Wire, so I thought that's cool. And you have a hot chick, so that is extra cool. And then at a point, you're like, this looks like it's gonna be Waterworld in space. That's not cool. A space planet that's a desolate desert, so I guess it's Desert World. In any case, you're you're skeptical at this point. So when John Carter was starting out, I was like, uh, I'm not really feeling this. I'm not really into the movie. The, the, the editing's kind of choppy. It's kind of slow. Then you get to Mars, and you feel pretty much exactly the same way. Then at a point, you're like, all right, I see where they're going with this movie. I can see how this can be cool, so I'll give it a shot. And when you're watching the movie, you're like, all right, I guess this can be entertaining for kids because adults are going to pick this movie apart. I get that the atmosphere on Mars is different, so the gravity's lighter. John Carter's not used to that, so he can jump really far and it's really cool, but when he falls, he falls at the same rate that he would fall on Earth. So it doesn't really show that the gravity's different, and so you're thinking when he lands, he's going to snap his legs, but he doesn't. At that point, you're like, all right, not meant for me, it's meant for kids. Although there are some parts where you're like, oh, that guy just lost his head. Apparently, it's not meant for kids. There's this one dude who's like, oh, John Carter, I'm coming for you! And he charges him, and John Carter just lops his head off in one second. You're like, oh, well, that guy's been a dick for the entire movie, and now he's dead. Kind of like in Blade, you know, where that one dude's like, oh, I got two hands, I don't know which one to kill you with, and he charges that blade, and Blade just takes a zip line and takes his head off. You're like, all right, well, that was not a fight, he's dead now. It's kind of like that, only for Blade, I felt it worked better. And then the movie ends like three different times. You're like, all right, this movie... Let's wrap it up. Then the movie ends in a way that's like, oh, we'll make a sequel if you guys want it, you know, do you want it, please? And if I can describe the movie John Carter in any way, it's like this. It's kind of like Waterworld in space meets Stargate meets some 80s sci-fi fantasy movie like Crawl, but not Crawl. I won't say the movie's dog shit. There were parts that I did enjoy, but I will say it's okay, but you're not gonna remember it in T minus two days. Yep, already forgot about it. So your favorite space sci-fi fantasy type movie, it doesn't even have to be sci-fi fantasy. Sci-fi, go for it. Fantasy in space, go for that. Whatever it may be, comment below, let me know. And as always, if you like what you've seen here and you want to see more, click right here to see more.